I lucked out. I didn't bend the needle. Thank you, Lord. Because <laughs> you can easily bend these freaking needles. I'm here to freaking tell you, buddy. All right, let's see if we can continue. through multiple layers and this is where it gets it can get difficult <clears throat> so you sometimes you just do it by hand everything still works but you're powering it slowly and you got more power than that motor and you won't strip it or burn it up or anything else now that just for whatever reason it just hung up on me oh yeah Yeah, it can be a pain in the ass. Yeah. <laughs> what I'm trying to do is get the needle all the way back out. And once I do, I'm going to pull it out. I just don't want to bend that damn needle. That sucker costs. I don't know if I got any more extras. I think what the problem is, is the bobbins got hung up. And jammed. And I see the freaking, see the thread came out of the needle again. I don't damn find out what's causing that. It must be because it's such a heavy damn fabric. <clears throat> there we go. You know, some of these wife, girlfriend, or person, I mean, a man knows, I mean, there's a lot of guys that know a lot about this stuff, can probably tell you, or uh, probably know, a hell of a lot more about it than I do, and can tell you, tell me what happens and what's causing it, but damn if I know. It's not simple, let's put it that way. Oh, in case you want to change direction, you do not have to pull the fabric completely out like I've got it right there. All right. Pull your needle up out of whatever you're sewing. And look at there. I just about screwed that up. Um, just pick your foot up. Pull the needle up so you don't bend it. Because you bend that needle, brother, you screwed the pooch in. Um, just slide it in the direction you need it to go. Lower the foot back down. Set your fabric up. The way you want it or the way you need it in this particular case is not only the way i want it but it's the way i need it i want to fold it and so forth and then this i also need to turn it just a little bit or i'm gonna miss my intended work area let your foot back down and proceed all right let me zoom in. i, I want to show you this here because a lot of you guys may not know anything about this and this will, let me show you what the difference now this is a, i'm going to show you the straight stitch and what the needle's doing if i can get the damn camera to operate all right now watch watch the needle all right this is a straight standard stitch up, 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 down, up, and down, up, and down. Okay, no big deal. Now, let me change the setting. Now, watch that needle now. Side to side. See it going side to side, back and forth. And my damn <clears throat> thread break. I don't know what is causing that. Damn it. Okay, another thing you need to know, the zigzag pattern would use a ton of freaking thread so depends on how much money you want and how often you want to change that freaking that spool of thread but i think it covers more area and usually when i do the zigzag pattern a lot of times i'll i'll stop right in the middle of it and i'll back up a certain way with the straight the straight uh stitch okay the zigzag stitch and then the straight stitch all right um i've got to change it because i'm about to go through 
multiple layers of that webbing and I'm going to probably have to sew it by hand I mean turn it by hand in order to get it to work because it's so freaking thick and you don't want to bend or break that damn needle so you got to be careful oh crap went too far all right we're almost on top of it so slowly you surely don't want to break the freaking needle because then you're in the hurt locker now I want to make a I want to make a, uh, a ridge right here not necessarily a seam but a ridge so it's not just flat so you just pinch up your little bit of a ridge like that and fold it over and that's going to make a crease and, and up through there let me see. I'll hold it down with this. And maybe I, maybe you can see that. See that right there? Okay. See that? All right. Move the machine. Move it back over here to the foot. Move that up out of the way. All right. Set my tension again. You can set the tension on this foot right here from the very top. I'll show you that here in a minute. Let's do this by hand because we're almost to the end. And I don't want to go too damn far. Right, back it up. I'm going to reinforce that seam really good. All right. Move the needle up and out by hand. Okay, the needle's out there. This is just the thread. And you got the tension off the foot, you can see. I've, see that? Okay. Now I've got to turn to work the piece so we're going to go back up the other direction. If I'd have took this damn thing apart, it would have been a hell of a lot easier. But I didn't. And it's just, just got to go, you know, do a little bit at the damn time. Not being too big a hurry now. I'm only going to be able to sew a, a very short a little ways. Let me see if I can get the camera over here so it can see. Because I've got these damn eyelets right here. Right here. If you can see where my finger is. It's basically like an, the eyes on the, you know, for your laces on your boot. There's eyelets right here, and if you hit that with a needle, there your damn needle goes. You're screwed. Back it back off. All right. So I'm going to just uh, reinforce this corner seam right here, and we'll stop. There's nothing down there, so... stuck. I do not know why. Go that damn direction perfect. If I let my damn foot down it might help. All right, now we're gonna stop. All you do is lift up the foot on the back side. Just pull it out. Give yourselves up. Oh, I'm out of bobbin. Did you see that? Either that or it got cut. One of the damn two. It broke. And if it broke, then it'll be the first time, but we still had some bobbin on the end there. But man, what a rat's nest I let it get under there. <laughs> well, you're about to get your first lesson on how to make a freaking bobbin. You pull all your thread out here. Open this bottom panel up. <clears throat> and I'll take the camera off the camera stand for this. All right, and you see, let's see, you see that little clip? Well, let me get, here, I get the damn hand out of the, see a little clip right there? Looks, you can hook that with your fingernail, it pops right out. Okay. 
and doing this doing this one-handed is a freaking nightmare and that's what it looks like it looks like it still has some thread in it though yeah it's got quite a bit of thread on it okay another thing you need to know the zigzag pattern would use a ton of freaking thread so depends on how much money you want and how often you want to change that freaking that spool of thread but i think it covers more area and usually when i do the zigzag pattern a lot of times i'll i'll stop right in the middle of it and i'll back up a certain way with a straight the straight uh stitch okay the zigzag stitch and then the straight stitch all right um i've got to change it because i'm about to go through multiple layers of that webbing and i'm going to probably have to sew it by hand i mean turn it by hand in order to get it to work because it's so freaking thick and you don't want to bend or break that damn needle so you got to be careful oh crap went too far all right we're almost on top of it so slowly you surely don't want to break the freaking needle because then you're in the hurt locker now I want to make a I want to make a, uh, a ridge right here not necessarily a seam but a ridge so it's not just flat so you just pinch up your little bit of a ridge like that and fold it over and that's going to make a crease and, and up through there let me see. I'll hold it down with this. And maybe I, maybe you can see that. See that right there? Okay. See that? All right. Move the machine. Move it back over here to the foot. Move that up out of the way. All right. Set my tension again. You can set the tension on this foot right here from the very top. I'll show you that here in a minute. Let's do this by hand because we're almost to the end. And I don't want to go too damn far. Right, back it up. I'm going to reinforce that seam really good. All right. Move the needle up and out by hand. Okay, the needle's out there. This is just the thread. And we got the tension off the foot. You can see I've, See that? Okay. Now I've got to turn to work the piece. So we're going to go back up the other direction. If I'd have took this damn thing apart, it would have been a hell of a lot easier. But I didn't. And it's just... Just got to go, you know, do a little bit at the damn time. Not be in too big a hurry now. I'm only going to be able to sew a, a very short a little ways. Let me see if I can get the camera over here so it can see. Because I've got these damn eyelets right here. Right here. If you can see where my finger is. It's basically like an, the eyes on the, you know, for your laces on your boot. There's eyelets right here, and if you hit that with a needle, there your damn needle goes. You're screwed. Back it back off. All right. So I'm going to just uh, reinforce this corner seam right here, and we'll stop. There's nothing down there, so... stuck I do not know why go that damn direction perfect if I let my damn foot down it might help All right, now we're gonna stop all you do is lift up the foot on the back side just pull it out 
give yourselves up oh, i'm out of bobbin did you see that either that or it got cut one of the down two it broke and if it broke then it'll be the first time but we still had some bobbin on the end there but man what a rat's nest i let it get under there <laughs> well you're about to get your first lesson on how to make a freaking bobbin you pull all your thread out here open this bottom panel up <clears throat> and i'll take the camera off the camera stand for this all right and you see let's see you see that little clip well let me get yeah, get the damn hand out of the see a little clip right there looks you can hook that with your fingernail it pops right out doing this doing this one-handed is a freaking nightmare and that's what it looks like it looks like it still has some thread in it though yeah it's got quite a bit of thread on it 